Today we're diving into the fascinating world of GIMP, the GNU image manipulation program. If you're a creative soul, a designer, or simply someone looking for powerful image editing without breaking the bank, GIMP might just be your perfect companion. So what is GIMP? Well, it's a free open source raster graphics editor packed with features. GIMP's core functionality spans the entire spectrum of image editing tasks, from the fundamental basics like cropping and resizing, to more intricate tasks such as layer manipulation, advanced color correction, and pixel level editing. GIMP is a comprehensive solution for both novice users and seasoned professionals. One standout feature is its support for layered editing. GIMP allows users to work with multiple layers within a single image, enabling a non-destructive workflow. Which means that you can make changes without altering the original image, providing unparalleled flexibility in complex editing tasks and allowing for easy experimentation. And besides the layered editing, there are a couple of things GIMP also offers. For instance, GIMP excels in the realm of masks and selections. Whether you're refining the edges of an object or creating intricate masks for specific effects, GIMP provides a variety of tools like the Quick Mask Mode and the Intelligent Scissor Select tool. This level of precision in selections is crucial for advanced editing and compositing. To enhance your images even more, there's also a wide variety of filters and effects available. From artistic filters to advanced image manipulation filters, GIMP caters to a broad spectrum of creative needs. Users can apply effects, tweak parameters, and even create custom filters using their built-in ScriptFoo or PythonFoo scripting capabilities. Now, GIMP's advanced scripting capabilities open up a world of automation and efficiency. Users can create custom scripts to streamline repetitive tasks, saving time and enhancing productivity. This feature is particularly valuable for professionals working on large projects or anyone looking to establish a consistent and efficient workflow. When it comes to formats, GIMP supports a wide range, ensuring compatibility with various sources and output requirements. Whether you're working with popular formats like JPEG and PNG or more specialized formats like TIFF or PSD, GIMP has you covered. GIMP's extensibility is a key strength. The software supports a vast array of plugins, enhancing its capabilities further. Whether you need an additional brushes, filters or export options, the GIMP community has developed an impressive library of plugins to augment the software's functionality. And GIMP dynamic brushes and dynamics add a layer of expressiveness to your digital art. These features allow for realistic simulations of natural media, enabling artists to create digital paintings with the feel of traditional brushes. It's a testament to GIMP's commitment to providing a versatile platform for a wide range of artist endeavors. GIMP's approach to text editing is both robust and flexible as well. It supports a variety of text effects, layer styles and blending options, giving users creative control over typography. Whether you're designing a sleek poster or adding text to your digital art, GIMP's text editing capabilities provide the tools needed to make your words visually really captivating. GIMP's advanced color management tools cater to the needs of photographers and digital artists alike. The ability to work in different color spaces and control color profiles ensures accurate and consistent color representation. This attention to detail is crucial for professionals working on projects that demand precise color reproduction. GIMP's inclusion of vector graphics support expands its capabilities beyond traditional raster editing. Users can create scalable and resolution independent designs, making GIMP a versatile tool for both web and print graphics. And this feature adds an extra dimension to GIMP's utility for graphic designers working on diverse projects. So, why would people choose GIMP over something like Adobe's Photoshop? Well, both are powerful tools and the choice often boils down to individual preferences and specific needs. One of the most apparent differences is the cost. Photoshop requires a subscription and while it comes bundled with other Adobe apps, the recurring fees can add up. Now on the other hand, GIMP is entirely free. This accessibility factor is a game changer, especially for freelancers, students, or anyone looking for a high quality image editor without breaking the bank. Photoshop has a polished interface with a steep learning curve. GIMP, while not as sleek, 
offers a customizable layout, allowing users to tailor the workspace to their liking. This adaptability can significantly enhance the user experience, especially for those who prefer a more personalized approach. In terms of features, both GIMP and Photoshop are formidable, offering tools for basic edits and advanced manipulations. However, Photoshop tends to have a slight edge in some advanced features, particularly in areas like content-aware fill and certain automated tasks. Yet, for the majority of users, GIMP's features cover a broad spectrum of needs, making it a very strong competitor. The heart of GIMP lies in its community-driven development. Updates and improvements are frequent with an active community contributing plugins, scripts and tutorials. Photoshop, while undeniably powerful, relies on Adobe's update schedule and might not be as responsive to individual user needs. The open source nature of GIMP means that updates are frequent, bugs get squashed promptly and the community contributes to an ever-expanding library of plugins and scripts. This dynamic ecosystem ensures that GIMP evolves based on the needs of its users. Now, file compatibility is another critical factor. Photoshop's PSD format is an industry standard and while GIMP can open these files, certain advanced features may not translate perfectly. However, GIMP's commitment to open standards ensures compatibility with a wide range of formats, fostering collaboration and ease of sharing. Performance-wise, GIMP tends to be less resource-intensive, making it a more lightweight option for users with less powerful hardware. Photoshop, with its extensive feature set, can demand more from your system. And this consideration is crucial for users working on older machines or with limited resources. And the cross-platform compatibility of GIMP is a notable advantage. It runs seamlessly on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Photoshop, while available on both Windows and Mac OS, doesn't natively support Linux. GIMP's inclusivity in terms of operating systems is a significant boost for users who might switch between platforms. Any commitment of GIMP to non-destructive editing is a game changer as well. The ability to make changes to an image without altering the original ensures a flexible and risk-free editing experience. Whether you're experimenting with different effects or fine-tuning details, GIMP empowers you to explore your creativity without the fear of irreversible changes. So in essence, GIMP is not merely a photo editor, it's a powerful graphic design tool. Its feature set combined with its flexibility and extensibility makes it a compelling choice for anyone looking to explore the full spectrum of digital image manipulation. Now let's go and download it. So we've got our friend Google and we're going to fill in GIMP search for it. It's a GIMP image manipulation program. So GIMP.org. Here we have a button download 2.10.36 let's select it and then you've got three options basically we've got BitTorrent directly or on Microsoft Store I always choose directly and then it gives me this prompt and I'm going to save it once it's saved we can open up the location and we're going to double click it and now I need to select the language so it's on Dutch but I'm going to put it on English for you all so you can follow along Click OK. And now we've got Customize or Install. Just click Install. And wait for the setup to install GIMP on your computer. You're going to use Custom if you want to change the directory or change the folder. But in this case, it's going to be saved to my C drive. And then completing the GIMP setup wizard. Setup has been finished installing GIMP on your computer. Let's click Finish. And now go to the designated folder to start it up. And then it's going to look for data files brushes and stuff, querying new plugins and initializing them. And here we have it, GIMP. Now, if you want to know how to master all of this, check out my other videos. Thank you for watching.